Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on gradients within Photo Illustrator CS6. To begin with, a gradient is a point where one color fades into another color, sometimes multiple colors. As an example, you can see here in the eyes of this character on the left that at the top of this circle her eyes go from a darker blue into a lighter blue down here at the bottom. Now these are all how within one ellipse and I'll show you very quickly right down here. By turning off these two highlights here you can see that, it go, uh, that it's all one thing. Okay. Now, I'll demonstrate how you create a gradient in this file. Now I'm just going to turn on my ellipse tool and as you can see it is currently set with a bloke a black stroke and I've, I've I've reversed the colors now so now the color the stroke is white and the fill is black now I'm going to turn off the stroke because it's not necessary for this and we're going to go back to the fill and as you can see right here is the gradient button this is going to change the fill to a gradient in this case, it's going to fade from a white to a black. Okay. Now, there are two types of gradients. First is the linear, which, like this shows, is just is, um, fading from one color to another in a straight line. Now, I can change the orientation of this by coming over here and clicking on the angle and choosing a different angle number. Again, it's always a straight line no matter what. The other type of gradient is a radial gradient. In this case, it's starting with one color in the center and fading out to a color f uh, farther away from the center. Now, I'm going to change up the colors. As you can, uh, right now the black and white have served their purpose. And let's go with a red in the center to, how about a green? As you can see, it starts off as a very bright red and it goes through the spectrum until it gets to an orange, then a light yellow, until it gets to the solid green color I've chosen over here. And that is the essence of a gradient. They're very useful for things like skies, uh, colors and clouds, just in general when you want to show a fade from one color to another. Now, I'm going to go back to the linear and I'm going to switch to my gradient tool which is found here. Now this lets me manipulate the gradient a little bit more directly. Now, as you can see by clicking uh, this little end on the gradient tool I can extend it so that the gradient is longer or I can shorten it so I get more of the green on this side. I'm going to scale it back now let's say I wanted to change the rotation without actually typing in a number over here. I just wanted to do it directly. Well, all I have to do is go back to that same end and rather than holding, hovering my mouse over it directly, I hover it off to the side a little bit and I get this little arrow uh, with a dotted line behind it. And I twist and, and there we go. And now I've changed the angle. And I'm just going to click on this and drag it down and it's scaled properly with the ellipse again. Very simple. Now, what if I wanted to, without actually changing the scale, I just wanted to get a little bit more red into it. Well, there's these sliders right here and over here as well. The gradient slider on top determines how much of a certain color is put in. So if I wanted to put in more orange, then I move this slider closer to the green. I wanted to put more green in, then I go in the opposite direction. I can also just click on one of the sliders and choose a position manually. Now, now if I wanted to add a third color like I've just done here, then all I have to do is click along the bottom of the line and I can add as many stoppers as are physically possible within this confined space. And I can choose individual colors for each one. So let's say I wanted 
Let's toss a little bit of blue in here for fun. That was some purple. And, hmm. Let's go with a little bit of light blue. Wow, that actually looks quite hideous. But it gets the point across. Now I can change up how much, where I want all of these. I can smooth them around. Change their locations. And I can actually change their opacity. Or just how clear they are. So let's say I wanted to go from a single color. In fact, let's get let's change this to a different gradient. Let's, mm, let's see. Let's go back to a white to black. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, go from a black to gray, but have no white in it, and I just wanted the white to kind of fade away. Now, all I have to do is click on this slider and set the opacity at a lower point. Now, if I take and create a another object below this, let's uh, use the rectangle tool for this. And instead of a gradient, I'm going to use a solid color. Oops. Let's go with green, and I'm going to layer this below that. See, now you can see that the gradient goes from the black up here, and as it goes to white, in the gradient panel, it actually loses opacity until it is at zero opacity and it just blends in with the green in the background. Very useful for, again, the sky, clouds, things of that nature. Um, also useful for glows, like you might see in anime for a beam saber or such. And that is essentially how gradients work. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching and have a good night.